Welcome to Centrifuge for Dummies, brought to you by PA Biodiesel Supply. Um, we're in back in the studio, which just happens to be our kitchen table in the kitchen. Um, today's movie is going to be motor comparison. Uh, there's a lot of opinions out there on the correct way of doing things, either through forums, people's advertising sites and all. So we thought, what better way to get the true information than to contact the technicians at both Oberdorfer and SureTech. Oberdorfer pumps are continuous duty, SureTech pumps are intermittent. Um, they're both doing the same, the same item. Uh, SureTech's idea said their example of a true continuous duty pump would be a fish tank pump. Fish tank pump runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Um, you're never going to use these like that. So, um, they come with either Viton, Buena Seals. There seems to be a lot of bad information there, too. Um, Buena Seals are okay with biodiesel. Um, Buena seals will degrade with lye. Viton seals are okay with biodiesel. Viton seals will degrade with methanol. And as far as the Buena with the biodiesel, when Pete told me that at Oberdorfer, I questioned him. He was like, wait a second, checked on something and came back and said, yeah, there's not a problem. Uh, we do sell everything with the Viton seals. Everything comes with pressure relief valves. There's another one. Um, people seem to rely on the pressure relief valve. Oberdorfer and SureTech both say that you need an external pressure relief valve. The pressure relief valve on the pump is going to buy you five to ten minutes before the pump is ruined. Reason being, when the pressure relief valve kicks, it opens up a diaphragm. You're pumping back through the inlet. And as time goes on, the temperature in either pump rises. And like I said, within five or 10 minutes, your pump's gonna be shot. Both pumps are pos positive displacement, self-priming. Both are good pumps. They really are. When it comes down to which one do you need, the continuous duty or the intermittent, it really does come down to personal choice. Both are gonna do the job for you. Both are being are being utilized for the same thing, the same purpose. Can I run my SureTech pump for three days, 24 hours a day without a problem? Yes. Reason being, they both have continuous motors and that's one of the areas that really affects the pump. That seems to be a more important thing. Um, I, I'd almost say the Oberdorfer's, the Cadillac, the SureTech's, the Escort. Let me ask you, when you're driving around, what do you see more of? Okay, again, personal choice. We sell, we sell the SureTech. We'll be selling the Oberdor for probably you're going to see it on our site within a week or two. Um, and if you haven't won it, this is in first, second week in June. So if you're watching this later, it's already there. We're going to bring you this, the Oberdor for pump, less expensive than you're going to find it anywhere else. That is what we do. We'll bring things out that people can use that's quality equipment that we're not going to ask top price for it and that's our niche folks if you want good quality equipment at not top price at a good price I mean visit us we're at www.pa biodiesel supply yeah it's right there okay um, and you can see we, we, we spend a lot of money on our props here Okay, uh, we're a small family business, personalized customer care. Uh, we have some customers we talk to three and four times before they purchase. I have some customers that I talk to once or twice a week after they've purchased just to discuss things. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, we're meeting a very, very good clientele of people. It's... Um, it really is good to see Americans are still, you know, they're out there. They're doing things, they're taking things on themselves and really coming up with some answers. Okay, 
I better get off my political soapbox. In, in any case, back to the pumps. Um, we sell one third, one half, one horsepower. One third, you're talking 2.2 to 2.1 gallons per minute. The one half horsepower, you're talking 4.2. Um, the one horsepower, we're talking anywhere from 8 to 10 uh, gallons per minute. And again, what you need to realize is when you're realizing gallons per minute, that's at 40 PSI usually. And it is on a curve. Um, take this or this pump and put it up to 85, 90 PSI and that 2.1, 2.2 gallon per minute drops down to a roughly 1.7, 1.8 gallons per minute. Um, there you have it. Uh, the information I gave you, like I said, I talked to both SureTech and Oberdorfer technicians. I've called Pete at Oberdorfer a couple times. Uh, he was almost kind of like, yeah, what do you want, buddy? But nah, 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 I'm just kidding. He's very nice, very knowledgeable, and I'm hoping this helps. Um, the pump, Buena Seals are good to 250 degrees, Viton to 300 degrees. So for what we're doing with WVO, biodiesel, either one's going to work, either seal. Um, both good pumps. Okay, if you're interested in a good quality pump at a great price, visit us. Thank you.